Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you how I built my second brain. And second brain, yes, it's not part of the body, we have only one brain, which is up here. But this second brain, I uh, took it after I followed the Ali Abdal Notion Masterclass on how to maximize productivity and uh, organization. And I watched a lot of videos of his and I really re recommend him. I, uh, it's like my new <laughs> vision kind of a thing. So uh, first of all, let's see what is a second brain. But before that, I want to ask you a few questions. How many brilliant ideas you had, but then you forgot them? or how many insights you had and then you didn't take action on it or how many life lessons you took and slowly as the year passed you for forget them i think many of us will experience the same kind of struggle so we feel a constant pressure on learning or getting better or making progress. We spend hours every year by reading or listening or watching or uh, uh, immersing ourselves in a lot of content, right? Uh, we have Instagram, uh, YouTube, uh, blogs, so many content or information is coming our way. But where is all that information, all that knowledge, where is it going when you actually need it? Our brain can only store a few thoughts at one time. And as a famous quote is saying that our brain is for having ideas, not for storing them. So building a second brain is a methodology of storing and saving ideas and to help us remind it of it, like a picture, thoughts, insights text, quotes, everything we resonate with to have it in one place. So the second brain has four steps and that is capture, organize, distill and then expressing. So I'm gonna walk you through uh, my capturing and as well as the organization step of my second brain, uh, which is still on, in progress. So um, how do I capture information? First of all is my notes app, which I have it on all of the devices and it's synchronized with all of the devices. For example, I come across a very nice code, which I want to remember. I just open the notes app and I type it in there. Or if I have a lot of tasks, those I put them in a Todoist app and all the tasks I have, I just type it in there. If it comes my through my brain, like a call my mom or a broom the room or anything, I put it inside there. Otherwise, I will forget. But I know that if I put it there, it will always be there. I can very easily uh, review what task I have to do and just do it. Uh, another thing is if you are a Kindle reader, all the highlights, you do can automatically be uh, transferred to Readwise. And from Readwise, you can transfer them to Notion. And Notion is basically the uh, place where the second brain is. Or similar for blog posts or articles, that is Instapaper. So in Instapaper, you can save like emails or articles you want to read later. From there, you can highlight and the information will go again into Readwise and from there to uh, Notion. All right, so we went to the capturing part, like how you capture. And one more thing, it just came to my mind about the Instagram saves. When was the last time you actually went to your Instagram saves? I personally think it was a very long time ago. And I do have a lot of interesting facts and codes or um, suggestion I could apply, but I think Instagram is not the best app to actually capture ideas. So instead you can take information from Instagram and again, put it into notes. So we finished the, uh, the capturing part. Now let's go for organization part. So this is my notion life. OS. This is basically where the magic is happening. So as you can see, I do have as a picture of Howl from Howl Movie Castle. Why not? <laughs> then I have this quote, which is life before death, strength before weakness and journey before destination. The dashboard is basically the major area of my life in which I am focusing on. So I have the resonance calendar, the impact, love, happiness and spirituality, health. So uh, after that, I have my Todoist uh, app, which is connected with this. So all my to-do uh, list is here. And then 
energy investment portfolio is basically all the projects I'm working on right now, which are ongoing. And then I have a, a motivation YouTube video. So coming back to the resonance calendar, because this is where you put all the information. So let me zoom this in. So resonance calendar is, as I said, is where you put all the information which resonates with you. It can be anything, it can be a YouTube video, it can be a blog uh, post, it can be book notes, it can be absolutely anything. For example, I have here, uh, I saw this responsibility picture, uh, which was really nice and I thought I will save it. So uh, it talks about responsibility and everything. Or for example, veganism. So here I have some uh, blog posts which I saved. Or let's say, what I learned in the seven years of tracking gratitude. So these again are notes. So what is nice about this is that everything I have in this kind of notes, if I search it in the app, it will automatically come. All the things which contain, for example, if I want to search gratitude, all the things will come right there, right? So it's, it's very easy. And uh, one more thing is that um, when you are categorizing the information, you should categorize it based on the projects you are working on or where you will probably use that information later on. For example, if you have an information of gratitude, where you will actually use it later, maybe for a, a, a post, maybe for a social media post, maybe for a YouTube vlog, maybe for a, a speech you're gonna do later. So you want to categorize it based on the project, not the category there. They're not like uh, personal development or let's say, school notes or anything like that. So it's based on the project you are going to do, uh, as you can see here on the right side. Now, one more thing I want to show you, which I really like, is that I have, for example, the book notes tem template. So this is uh, basically how I take information from the books and store it in my uh, second brain, uh, because what happens I noticed this with myself. I read so many books. Meanwhile, as the years pass by, I forget a lot of the information. And to, re to remind myself, I have to go again from the book and read it again to understand what was written inside. So then I thought, what if I take the essence of the book and store it somewhere? So then when I want to revise the book, I will very quickly go there. And uh, see, I'll go, I'll show you, for example, this is one recent book I read, The Chemistry of Human Life. So here I have like the book in three sentences. What is the impression? How the book changed me? My top three quotes of the book and then summary and notes. So uh, basically everything I got from the book. So in this way, you actually get what you want to get from the book. Because see, people will read the same book for different reasons, right? Um, so here also I have all my YouTube videos ideas, I store it in here, or uh, journaling, or videos, or uh, quick notes, everything is here. So that is all, this is an overview of how my second brain looks like right now. And I am still a total beginner at it. I'm pretty sure as years pass by, I will improve it more and more and I'll personalize it even more for my purposes and my goals in life. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and maybe it was an inspiration for you of how to actually uh, store all the information because it's very difficult. We are in a world where information is just coming through you and at you and from all the directions, right? So how do you consume the information is also very important and what do you consume is as well very important. Thank you for watching this video and until next time, stay healthy. Try to be more productive and gain more knowledge.